Hello you lovely Mario Maker person and welcome back! My name is Steve and today we are having a quick look on the new keys that were introduced to the game with 1.4. The cool thing about keys is that you can give them to any enemy and once they die Mario gets the key. So what we are going to do is to give each of these enemies you can see right now a key and then we will find creative ways to kill them. You ready? Let's do this! Okay, so here we have a boss fight against Bowser Jr. Sadly, it looks like there's no way Mario can jump on his head, but he needs the key little Bowser is holding. To make matters worse, there's a constant stream of bad, ouchy things rolling towards Mario. So how can Mario escape this nightmare? Well, there are not only evil things on the tracks, but P-switches as well. Once Mario triggers a P-switch, the coins behind Bowser Jr. will turn into bricks and he will be forced to leave this virtual world. Kill number one. So here we have a small puzzle. The Monty Mole on the bottom is holding the key and there is no obvious way for Mario to reach him. But there is a hidden block and once Mario triggers it, a Pobobo Fireball will trigger the bomb that is out of sight will explode, forcing the coin to fall down which triggers the note block and voila, we got ourselves a P-switch. And there are shells coming out of this pipe. Now a small plumber only needs to trigger the power block and the P-switch and he is able to force the chain jump into the Monty Mole. Kill number 2. Here's a minigame. Mario needs to avoid the burning fireballs that the Piranha plants spit towards him. The Piranha at the bottom is basically a super overcomplicated timer that was not possible before the key update. The block on the tracks will run into the Piranha after some time, forcing it to drop the key and allowing Mario to leave. So now let's get the key the dark enemy is holding. While Pobobo fireballs are streaming towards Mario, he needs to avoid the hammers. The enemy that shall not be used is throwing at him. His only chance of surviving is to avoid any harm until the spiky timer to the right auto triggers the P-switch and you know which enemy dies. Kill number 4. I really enjoyed this one. Let's have a look on a small neat trick. Once Mario made his way through all these munchers trying to eat him, he will find a P-switch on top of a brick block below a muncher. If he bangs his head really hard against the bricks, some magic will happen and ta-da! A key appears. That's thanks to this neat little machine. If you build this somewhere in your stage, Mario will get a key once he triggers a P-switch. And sorry Goompa that I didn't find a better use for you. It's so tight in here I feel like I can't breathe. Let's take a key from a Koopa. Koopas are really interesting enemies to give a key to because they won't die if Mario jumps on top of them. So right now Mario literally holds the key in his hands. But how does he extract it from this Koopa? Well you probably already guessed it. This swamp up there will do the trick. Hooray! Kill number 7 is a lucky 2. If you give a lucky 2 a key, you can't give him something special to throw, which makes him probably the most useless enemy you can give a key to, together with bloopers. I tried really hard to find an interesting way to extract a key from a blooper and that's the best thing I was able to come up with. It features a Koopa, Mario has to get to a spring and a questioner block and another spring and a bullet blaster bill and a boo boo fireball and a bob arm. Long story short, it takes a lot of things to make something interesting with bloopers. Sorry dude. While bloopers are not that interesting, boohoos are. There is only one way to kill a boohoo in the game I know about and that is with a star. That gives boos some potential for puzzles and meteorite stages. Here our plumber needs to reach the top of this small parkour to get a star. And then he needs to kill the boo and climb back up. Okay, here we have something a little bit more sophisticated. This time the key is inside a buzzy beetle and jumping on top of them will not kill them, the same way as Koopas. To kill it, Mario needs to find a way to get it through the small space to the right, but there are holes in the wall Mario needs to fill. So how does he do that? Well, climbing up to the right might help as there is a blue platform hidden that will activate once Mario jumps on top of it. Now our small Italian jump and runner is able to reach the other blue platform, which will make the bullet blaster bill drop down, completing the wall. Let's throw the buzzy beetle into the new path and the piece which will appear. Once Mario triggers it, kill number 10. 
The next idea features burning Cheep Cheeps. The red Cheep Cheep will chase Mario, so here he has to avoid getting crushed by the skewers and burned by the fish. His life really isn't easy. If he manages to reach the end of this small stage, Buzzy Beetles will crawl out of this pipe, a precise throw, and this nightmare ends. So here the spiky turtle got the key. There is no way for Mario to get up there, but if he takes a Goomba and throws him with enormous power at the right timing through these crushing walls, he might get him. Why is it always me? Hooray! Kill number 12. Before we commit our next murder, let's have a look at two small glitches I found while making this video. First, look how the POW block behaves once this thwomp drops down. That's weird, isn't it? And second, I'm not entirely sure what the right behavior for the springs would be once I start the game, but I'm quite sure that's not it. Okay, Bowser got the key Mario needs, but Mario can't reach him. Clever Bowser, imprisoning yourself. He seems pleased with himself, he's even dancing. Sadly, he forgot about the P-Switch jump. Kill number 13. By the way, the new patch changed the timing window for a P-Switch jump. It became way harder. The next idea is a boss fight against Kamek. This boss fight works in two phases. First, Mario needs to avoid the magic missiles Kamek is shooting towards him. Once the skewer destroys the block where the Monty Immobilizer is, Kamek will teleport around wildly, allowing Mario... Kill number 14. The next key is inside this Wiggler, but as we all know, there is no way Mario can kill a Wiggler without help. To get the help he needs, Mario has to climb up this super sadistic platforms. Once he managed to get up there, he will be greeted by a Fwomp, who he can abuse to drop down and to kill his friend, the Wiggler. Kill number 15. Okay, stop. Are we sure Mario is the good guy in this story? I mean, come on, Italian plumber. Ignoring all rules of good behavior while getting to his girlfriend, eating mushrooms, about serial murder. That doesn't sound like the good guy to me. Maybe we should take a look at an idea not involving crimes. Here is a way to get a key without risking imprisonment. Mario has to chase the shell he threw because shells are able to collect keys in this game and if he is not fast enough the shell will despawn and he won't get a key. But if he manages to be as fast as the shell, the key will float towards him once the shell touched it and Mario can go through the store and back to crimes. Here Mario needs to find a way to ignite the pop bomb so that he can get its key. Setting the pop bomb on fire is pretty basic, easy puzzling here. The potential for the things you can do with pop bombs and keys, however, is incredibly high. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you need a pow block to give you a key, this setup does the trick. Goodbye Muncher and hello kill number 17. Here we have a shell throwing minigame. If Mario gets the right timing, the shell will make its way up and eventually trigger the questionnaire block, killing the thwomp during the process. Something interesting, but sadly, in my opinion, entirely useless I noticed is that you can put a key into a Yoshi egg and once Mario is inside it will hatch and reveal its key to Mario. To get this key we use a trick with the new skewers. If Mario wants to collect the key that Drybone is holding he needs to climb the blue platforms as this will activate the skewer who will drop down the cannon for kill number 20. Okay, but this time Mario has really no chance of getting the key. I mean, the key is in a chain jump, who is in an unreachable spot, trapped between springs. No. No, 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 no. Mario really can't get this one. Wow. Kill number 21. Mario is unstoppable. And that's it for today and for keys and for killing enemies. I sincerely hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, leave me a thumbs up and maybe you feel especially murderous today and want to hit the subscribe button as well. If you have a level that features a cool trick with keys, feel free to leave me a level ID in the comments, I'd be happy to check it out. And if you know any other cool tricks with keys or ways to kill enemies that I did not showcase, tell me about them. 
I hope you have a wonderful day and to see you soon with even more tips, tricks and ideas in Super Mario Maker. Goodbye!